I've broken free from y'all, free from slavery. I feel like I've broken free from slavery. Yeah, but what about the women who are submissive and keep running into the men who don't know how to lead properly? Quiet. What about those women that are submissive and keep running into men that don't know how to lead properly? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to tell you one thing. If you are all this woman that you say you are, any woman, and you can't get the kind of man that you say that you are worthy of, that means you're not the woman that you think you are. You're not her. I'm not, listen, I, I understand this. Listen, listen, I understand this about myself. I'm not Floyd Mayweather. So I can't attract and I can't garner the type of attention that Floyd Mayweather can garner. I'm not Drake. I'm not any of these. I'm not a celebrity. So I can't garner that. And I'm realistic with myself. So I know what I can get, though. And I'm realistic with that. Y'all are not. And that's another reason why I tell the men with this topic to treat y'all like children, babies and toddlers. May I ask a question? Yes. But did you hear what I just said? Of course. Yes, sir. I'm listening. Okay. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying that men need to treat y'all like babies and children and toddlers. Okay. Go ahead. All right. My question is, what would you recommend for the people, as you say, women who are, they think they are all that, but not really. So what do you suggest, like study other cultures, how they respect their men? What's the suggestion instead of just the complaint? How often do you watch my content? I would give it more than once or twice weekly. Okay. Well, I say it all the time. I say all the time that... Y'all need to study the women that have the things that y'all want to have. Okay. So there are women online that have really good lives with great husbands and all that stuff. They even document their lives. Y'all don't study those women. Y'all don't ask those women uh, questions. A lot of times those women will tell you that. How, sister, how did you, or excuse me, how did you get the great man that you have? What what tips can you give? And I guarantee you, most of the time, they're going to say, I got out of my masculinity. I stopped listening to feminism. I started being more soft and sweet. I, I got in the best shape of my life. All this stuff I'm telling y'all. You know why you can't get the man that you really want? You're not as submissive and sweet that you say you are. It sounds like you got babies over there. Yes, sir. How many? I have two. What are the ages? Uh, this one is one. Then I have another one that's about to be three. Hell no, you're not going to get it. Are you crazy? I don't, I'm not looking for a man. That's not, I'm not. You're not going to get no that. leader. The leader that you had was the one that just got you knocked up two times. Where's he at? In rehab. But that's, I'm let me ask you a real question. Oh. Let me no. Okay, let me ask you a real. Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you a real question. Do you think that that man at all is a reflection of you as a woman? For sure, yes. Okay, in what way? Um, poor choices based off of not loving myself at an early age. Just poor choices in general. But you came in here and told me that you this submissive type of woman and you just keep running into the wrong men. I did. I, I did submit to him. I was engaged to him. We were a woman. You're not supposed to submit to a man like that. I understand. You're correct. You're correct. <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> wait, wait. Listen to me. Y'all, no, no. Listen real quick. Listen real quick. Y'all just can't take no random. This is y'all's problem. Y'all can't pick no random dude. That y'all think is attractive or y'all think that's giving y'all the time of day or whatever, for whatever reasons you picking them and think that, oh, you know what? Well, they say we're supposed to submit to a man. So I'm going to submit to him. You can't do that with no way. Are you crazy? No, but people be, people be fooling people. And I got fooled. But it won't happen again. But I did. What? what? <laughs> hold on. Hold on a minute. 
Why, oh, why is that so many of y'all's story that y'all got fooled and tricked by these men? I mean, it, it, everything that you say is a thousand percent correct, especially with like the not being raised in a two parent household, things of that nature. But you don't see it until it's, it smacks you in your face, to be honest. Okay, so. Is the man tricking y'all when he says stuff like, damn, baby, you fine. Damn, baby, I just want to rock your world. Damn, baby, I want to be all of the man that you never had. Damn, baby, I want to be there for you. Damn, baby, I want... Oh, really? He didn't say none of that? No, what he came in saying is, let's get everything that we have to get in order to be better for the future. And that's what we did. And then then I got pregnant. (laughs) Are you serious? Not, wait, 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 wait. Your connection, your connection's breaking up. Wait, 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 wait. All it took was for him to say, let's get everything in order for the future. That was it? If you think that, that, oh, no. He didn't say those things. He acted on those things. He helped me. Everything. Credit. Everything. But then, Yeah. Real life smack. He was helping you on what? You said credit. Like to get your credit in check? Yeah, he just came and How? How's he had it helping you with your credit? He just made me aware of everything and like he just came and put everything on pen and paper. And Did he have like, excellent credit? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah, like 760, almost 8. We worked up to past 8. He had almost 800 credit score, but he has to be in rehab. Well, now, yeah, it wasn't like that when I first met him, of course. So you're not making sense because you just said that people hide stuff and you don't really know who people are. So One, I'm not coming here for any relationship advice. I no, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm saying to you what your story's not making sense to me because if he was hiding stuff, that means he was always doing it. Yes, but it didn't become like a big in my face. I had no experience with drug use and things like that. What was his drug of choice? It seemed like anything by the time it all came out. So when you first met him, okay, but so that means he was always doing it. He was always on the stuff. I'm sorry, that was naive. It cost me for sure. But I'm not here for, I'm I'm just, I was trying to understand your content better because it it seemed kind of like angry. (laughs) But what, how is my content angry? What's angry about my content? (laughs) Um, more so I just always think like we and everything were a part of kind of black culture especially like earlier in the decades and things of that nature so why are you so against it your real question is why am I against weave hell no that's not my real question I already asked my real question well, you just said that I come across as angry. Yes, especially when you talk about black women. And angry, angry time. because y'all wear weave? It's not a y'all. Yes, a lot of black women do wear weave, correct. Okay, but you're saying that you feel that I'm angry and upset because y'all wear weave? No, no, no. It just seems like when you're speaking on the topic, you just seem like very passionate about it, I guess. I'm passionate about a lot of see the problem is y'all only hear weave I was passionate when I was talking to the brother earlier about his situation I was passionate I was I'm, listen I'd be passionate when I'd be talking about how women today dress how they behave like children all of that stuff y'all just like to focus on the hair because that tells me and I know what it is because I've been doing this for almost three years that's an insecurity in y'all no, it's more so as a biracial yeah. child. Why are you so adamant about not dating black women? That's my real question. I feel like that should. Why am I so adamant about not being with a black woman? Correct. It, once again, you say you watch my content. You should know. 
Okay, but I feel like there are black women who can meet the. That's what I'm saying. There are black women who can be natural that can do this, can do that. So you're. That's fine. I'm not looking for. That's fine. I'm not looking for a needle in a haystack. So I agree. There probably are some somewhere out there. I'm not trying to find them. I'm not turning over uh, the house to try to find a needle. When I can just go to the store that sells needles and go find and buy a new needle. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. So I don't need to go. I I can go right to the place where they're born with the kind of hair that y'all love to wear. Y'all love Asian hair? I'll just go to Asia. But then the whole other side of your children's family will look at your child like the black child. You see what I mean? That don't matter. What do you mean? As, like, cause that's what biracial children experience. Like, one half of the family always... So know. you're worried about how my children would come out? No, your children. Biracial children. Yes, sir. It's not how they would come out. It's literally how they would be seen in the world, and especially by one half of their family. Lady, you don't. You you're not familiar with history, travel, nothing, right? Mm, incorrect. Okay. okay. All right. So let me ask you this: Are the people that live on the Caribbean islands are they mixed? Yes. Are the people that live in Brazil mixed? Mm, if they're from the country, I don't know. Yes. It depends on your parents' makeup. Yes. Okay. And I'm not going to even continue to go on and on and on because I can even talk about Asia, right? Like Malaysia. Mixed country. What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. You people all over the world are mixed. Right. Whether it's with Spanish and indigenous people, French and indigenous people, English and indigenous people. All over the world. I mean, your preference is your preference. I just wanted clarity. I wanted to understand. If that's a problem, my bad. Yeah, you and you and you know why? I mean, y'all make it so easy for me every day to be so proud of leaving. I used to feel bad about it. But now I say, you know what? I'm proud of myself. I'm proud that I was able to break free from the BW mm -hmm. because of how y'all behave. How y'all think. How y'all are towards men. I've broken free from y'all, free from slavery. I feel like I've broken free from slavery. Mindset. Well, thank you for coming up and having a conversation with me and being respectful. Thank you. Have a good Have a night. Good. And there it is. You just witnessed another episode of The Black Guru. You better subscribe and hit that bell twice to make sure you get notified for every single piece of my content. I got so much more to come.